Now, Lil Nas X, the guy who by far has the biggest song of 2019. Old Town Road is not only big, but it's also a groundbreaking record. I think this song is an example of how powerful social media can really be because don't forget, this track started off as nothing but a meme and that was less than a year ago. So a lot has happened for him in this short amount of time, which brings me to this advice that I want to give Lil Nas X. Let's make this one thing clear. All things come to an end, nothing lasts forever. And I'm saying this because obviously the Old Town Road wave is kind of gone now. Billie Eilish dethroned the song after it was on the number one spot on the billboard charts for 19 whole weeks a couple days ago is the track still a top 10 record at the moment of course it is people are still streaming the hell out of it like expected but the point of me saying this is it's now somewhat of a new chapter for Lil Nas X Old Town Road has done everything it was supposed to do and more now I'm looking at Lil Nas X and kind of asking myself what are you gonna do next of course his 7 EP that he dropped in June was nothing but a success he showed people that he's not a one-hit wonder he dodged the panda effect which a lot of people didn't think he would clearly this is someone who's better than just a hit song people know for and I can't really say the same for a lot of other artists. One example, what exactly happened to Silento aka the Watch Me Whip, Watch Me Nene guy? Well, he's out there somewhere struggling to break 8,000 views. Yes, I said 8,000. I'm not even joking. I mean, look at this. The, the guy has a song with 1.6 billion views and four years later, literally no one cares about him. There's not even 400 people out of that 1.6 billion who cares about him enough to want to hit the like button on the song. And of course, I'm mentioning this because this could have happened or should I say can happen alone as me personally though, I, I highly doubt it because in this short amount of time, he's kind of proven himself to be someone who's worth listening to. The advice I have for Lil Nas X is stay focused on the music, stay focused on perfecting every part of your craft 100% and don't let any distractions overtake you in the pursuit of that. Have you ever heard the saying that goes something like, whatever comes easy doesn't last and whatever lasts doesn't come easy. And this saying right here is very relevant to rappers in 2019, actually artists period in 2019. Let's approach this from the rapper standpoint, why is this so relevant to rappers? rappers nowadays. Well, for the simple fact that blowing up as a rapper has never been easier. Rappers are coming and going faster than I change my damn boxers. There's literally a new one blowing up every single day. But the question is, how many of them are gonna last three to four years down the road? And this is the reason why I'm giving Lil Nas X this quote-unquote focusing advice, because a lot of rappers simply don't apply this. Rappers take the position they're in for granted when it comes to easy or too fast, because technically they weren't supposed to take off that fast. They work towards blowing up as a rapper without really expecting it's all gonna come to them fast. The truth is, most artists who last over the period of a long time, aka they have longevity in their career, build up to that point. And even when they do eventually make it and they're at the top, don't forget, they've most likely been a work in progress for at least a couple years or maybe even the last decade. And even then, 99.999% of them will never get that Old Town Road clout. How many artists can say that they had $5 in their bank account the same year they became a multi-millionaire? Essentially, this advice that I want to give Lil Nas X boils down to a couple things. The first one being, focus, okay? The power of making a decision to lock in and prioritizing music first. I'm saying this because I've seen way too many rappers getting caught up in the rapper lifestyle to the point where the music becomes secondary. Another thing, don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone if needed. It's very important to plant the seeds of, I don't only make this kind of music early on in your career, especially if you're a new name in the industry. And in that way, if you do decide to, you know, try some different things as far as your sound goes, people can't really box you in and say that, you know, you changed for the worse. And lastly, this advice is going to be very unique to Lil Nas X by the way, but don't lose yourself in the process. One reason why he's getting so much support is because of his likable personality. Lil Nas X is one of those artists you can't help but support. People love him because he's him. He's still embracing the meme culture despite blowing up and making it. I mean, if you remember, this is the same person who made a whole ass remix because of something I tweeted at him. And please tell me that's not the right way to use social media. And the point is, staying authentic and staying loyal to the very thing that helped you succeed is an important part of the equation. Lil Nas X is the product of memes. That's how we initially took off and of course it became something way bigger after that. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, my advice to Lil Nas X. Do you personally have any thoughts or opinions regarding this whole topic? Do you think this advice that I'm giving Lil Nas X is something that could benefit his career in the future? Definitely let me know in the comment section below and let's have a discussion about this.